you, it's crazy because you can literally like check the stream statistics, stream analytics, and um. Mm, mm, mm. And you can see like what people's viewers were like before they blew up, and it's crazy. Like, it's kind of humbling in a way because like it really does show that like any one of us could blow up at any moment, and all it takes is like collabing with the right person. <laughs> I mean, that's still the case. <laughs> yeah, you just need that luck and connections. You need connections and you need to be lucky to get those connections. You know, right place, right time. You just need to be in the right place, right time. It's all about networking. I guess uh, it's kind of scummy to admit that though. I don't know. Anyway, chat. I don't know if you can hear it. My voice feels way better. Um, let's play some goddamn Bloodborne. <laughs> let's play some Bloodborne. <clears throat> now, un momento. I do need to adjust the volume on my capture utility so that I don't blow my eardrums out. Um. Okay. Here we go. Making your whole purpose to network is scummy, though. It is, which is why people make it their whole purpose, but just pretend it's not their whole purpose. <coughs> <coughs> no, but yeah, um, most of your favorite VTubers, you know, um, most of your favorite VTubers, like most of the big VTubers in the community, probably didn't have much of like, a lot of them didn't have really any audience before collabing with someone who did have an audience, you know? <clears throat> Uh, so it's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy to think about. Like, um... Like, Shoto was, like, super small for the longest time and still they t until they started, like, collabing with, uh, Niji Sanji. I don't know if that's, like, am I, am I an asshole to say that? Because, like, I don't know, it's kind of true. <laughs> like, I don't mean to... Not, not, like, throwing them under the bus or anything. Or, like, make, uh, like attacking them, but that is, like, kind of just what happened. Hmm. You know, um, Iron Mouse and Zentrea kind of blew up off of Project Melody. Like, these things happen, you know? I'm sure I've, like, blew not blown up off of, like, a couple other people, you know? These things happen, chat. Nothing wrong with it. You know, that's just the nature of streaming. Sometimes, you get all your clip from someone else. Open. What the fuck? I'm so confused. I don't even remember this door being open. <laughs> you might need some lemon water with uh, honey to help if your throat is still sore. Yeah, My throat's not sore anymore. Scared, Getting help and yet a ton. Mysteriously attracted to him at the same time. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Mary, thank you for the prime sub. I really appreciate it. Yeah, my voice feels way better now. I don't know. I feel like you guys should be able to hear it, but if you can't, no worries. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's a lot of people in here. Why T Clubbers are the backbone of the streaming community to be itch? And to an extent, some of them are. Like, there's definitely like some some streamers who like blew up um entirely like off of off of like their clips being shared um snuffy comes to mind like snuffy's snuffy's clips like went absolutely viral but granted they only went viral because she had a, like a really fucking awesome model you know what i mean <clears throat> a lot of my viewers come from my um from youtube though you know but i i have to clip myself because uh, i'm not marketable enough i was never like i got canceled on twitter which is why i don't get clipped obviously but even before i got canceled on canceled on twitter like, I would not be clipped at all, and it was just because I was a guy, um, and clippers were only interested, really, in clipping the same, like, ten female streamers for a long time. If I was ever in a clip, if I was ever in a clip on another clipping channel, it was only because I was collaborating with someone who was, like, marketable. For instance, like, Lumi or Haruka Karabu.
like I would only be in clips if I was with so if someone else and then they wouldn't even credit me That's the scummiest part chat. They wouldn't even fucking credit me in the goddamn clips I would literally set up so many jokes for other streamers and then they would link they would like upload the clip You know clickbait the streamer that the you know the the, the marketable the cute like the cute girl streamer and then literally leave me out of the bio. They would literally wouldn't even fucking credit me, bro. Even though like I literally set up the jokes and like did did so much to like help contribute. They wouldn't even fucking credit me. Oh, it's so fucking scummy. <clears throat> so scummy, chat. Oh, it pissed me off so much. It only happened like once or twice, but you know, it, it got to be an issue. <laughs> I brought an e-bike. I bought an e-bike. I bought an e-bike for ten thousand dollars from your advice. What? Thanks for the suggestion. What? No, I didn't tell you to do that. Hang on. I didn't tell you to buy an e-bike. Baka. <laughs> I didn't tell anyone to buy an e-bike. Thank you for the 1,000 bits, though. <laughs> Saw the vice tag a while. I did not tell anyone to buy an e-bike. I was thinking of buying a bike. What's your favorite type? I don't know. I don't ride a bike. I literally don't ride bikes, chat. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know why we're talking about bikes. Ah. My favorite bike is probably a dildo. Oh, well, in that case, my favorite bike is your mom. Cause I ride her all night. Get it, chat? Cause I, I ride your mom. Cause, cause I ride her. That's just toxic. <laughs> that is just toxic. No, it's not just toxic. It's also mean. It's also mean. You little maniac, you. Oh wait, this guy got my souls somehow. Why do you have my souls, mister? You don't deserve my souls. Baka. You didn't work for those at all. Baka. Bakiara. <laughs> Uh, Rise and Ice, thank you for the 1,000 videos. I really appreciate it's it. It's an electric bike with a dildo instead of a bike seat. Interesting. Um, question. Why? Oh, we just knocked that old man with the wheelchair off. I feel bad for him. Thank you for the bits, but also sus. <laughs> <clears throat> well, it's time for our Bloodborne adventure shot. I'm hoping we can beat like one or two bosses today, you know? That's all I want to do. All I want to do is beat like one or two bosses and then probably be good to go. Um, Aglius, thank you for the, the, the head rubs. I really appreciate it. That guy's okay, not like he could break his legs. Yeah, but you know, you could still die. What? You need to break your legs to not be okay from falling from a high height. I feel like there's more to not being okay than just landing on your butt, you know? Thoughts on Kyber from Yu Gi Oh? Uh, what kind of thoughts am I meant to have? He's cool, I think. Kyber's pretty, he's, he's a meme. He's a pretty funny, funny little memer. 
He's rich. I don't know why I'm getting so many Quicksilver bullets that I don't need. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these Quicksilver bullets. Probably nothing. Hmm, guy. The door is locked. I guess we'll never know what's in there. Because I'll probably forget about it by the time I can enter there again. Or I'll probably get some obscure key yeah, that opens the door scared, and I'll be like, what the fuck is this for? And not know what to do about it. So happy to see you playing Bloodborne. It's my favorite game. Really? Is this your first play though? This is my first playthrough. This is my first Bloodborne playthrough. Um. So, please no spoilers or like backseating or anything like that. Because like, I kind of want to low-key experience it. You know, for the first time myself, you know? You gonna do the DLC? If I like the game enough, like if I finish the game and I'm up for more, I'll probably do the DLC. Although, Bloodborne, uh, analytics-wise, definitely isn't as popular as I thought it would be. I thought Bloodborne would, would bring in a lot more people, but, um, apparently, it might just not be as popular as I thought it would be, you know? I may have overestimated it. I think it's got like a lot of hardcore fans, but not a lot. It's got it's got a few hardcore fans, but not a lot of hardcore fans, you know? <clears throat> Spoilers! Does this game have a plot? I just mean like no backseating and stuff like that. Elden Ringer bust, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. Maybe the people would rather play it themselves? Nah, usually with Dark Souls games, um, the Soulsborne fandom loves to, like, go into streamers' chat and tell them how shit they are. Yeah! I was scared, and yet mysteriously attracted to them at the same time! Um, Adixica! Thank you for the demo, thank you for the Prime Sub, and Ryzenice! Thank yeah, you for the 5 2 subs. I and yet mysteriously attracted to them at the same time! <laughs> YouTube stop rec rec stopped recommending me content. What does that mean? Are you not getting recommended my videos anymore? Did you guys remember to hit the bell? Chat, remember to hit the bell. Okay. Always hit the bell, chat. What the hell is this? A tonite. What? What is that? Did I get a new weapon and didn't even realize? The hell am I gonna do with this? Does it zap people? What does it do? Is it any good? How many times can I use that? That almost seems good. Wait. Yeah, electric what plug? It's an electric what plug. Mysteriously attracted to him at the same time. Uh, Joseph, thank you for the prime sub. I really appreciate it. Also, remember, chat. Um, yeah, I was if we reach 600 gift or uh, 1,000 uh, new subscribers, <laughs> we get to reveal a new doujin. I'll be putting a doujin up on um, like rule 34 and like e621. You guys can go like I don't know, bust one too, I guess, or something. I think the electricity uses bullets, does it? Okay, interesting. Interesting. You guys can go bust onto it, I guess, or something. It's not like I like you or anything, baka. We gotta go back to the hunter's dream. My mistake. I went to the wrong place. Yeah, I was scared, and yet mysteriously attracted to him at the same time. Right, and again, thank you for another five gift subs. We're almost at 700. I know it says six, I know it says we're almost at 600, but we're almost at 700 because someone gifted 100 before. I made this poll, so I'm counting that 100 towards it. So we are almost at 700 subscribers. Eight more till 700, and then we only need 300 more. So basically, you guys are only trying to get to 900 instead of 1,000. 
Bust a nut. People don't read these for the plot. I mean, it's not a very long dungeon. There's not much plot you can have, you know? Um, and the funny part is, like, all the text is in Japanese, so it's not even translated to English. You guys are gonna have to figure out how to do that yourselves. Yeah! I was scared, and yet mysteriously attracted to him at the same time! Horizon is with another 10 gift subs! Thank you so much! Oh my goodness. That puts us at a total of 602. Or 702, if you want to count the 100 that isn't there, which you should, because, you know. Ow. Excuse me, sir. Okay, that seems like really good. Is there any reason not to use this? Because it seems like pretty busted. I'll be- I'll, I'll level with you. Like, where's the downside, I guess, is my question. Yo, Bloodborne, that's a pretty cool game. Where's the downside at all? Because, like, everything seems like... It seems really good. Is there actually any downside? I'm actually confused. Orbi cues the bike. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna go level this weapon up. <laughs> I'm gonna go level this weapon up after all. No downside, that weapon is base. Okay, so it's as good as it seems because it didn't take any, like, it didn't take anything. It literally didn't, like, oh why? Wow. I'm glad I'm so smart. Lowest durability? Is that all? Oh, I guess I do have to repair these fucking things, but... If that's all. If that's all. I mean, no reason not to use it, I guess. Fun fact, you can put fire gems into the Tonidus and it will do fire damage, even though it says arc. It does magic, arc, so when you put fire gems in it, it will do fire to you, instead of doing nothing. Ah! Narodo. Narodo. At Taiga, what's your take on Hunter Hunter? I'm not falling for the bait, chat. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, chat. <laughs> oh. I'm guessing Mango made a poll to see when I would bring up Hunter Hunter, or if I would bring up Hunter Hunter this stream. The joke's on you, chat. Because it's not gonna happen. Also, it doesn't count if you guys bring up Hunter Hunter. You realize that, right? You realize if you guys bring it up in chat, that doesn't count as me bringing it up? Is this guy gonna kidnap me again? Cause I don't really wanna deal with that. Okay, he just... He actually just kicked me to death. Oh, fuck me. God damn it! I hate this enemy. It's so bullshit. I hope it doesn't put me in a sack again, though. You better not put me in a sack again. No, he didn't. Thank God. Santa, worst enemy in Bloodgarm? If that's what his name is, uh, he's pretty bad. At least early game, he's pretty fucking rough. At least early game, he's pretty goddamn, like, frustrating, considering I just don't have enough damage to, like, actually... Um... You know? Fight him.
He, li he literally just hits too hard. I mean, it's not like he's impossible to kill, but, you know, he's pretty difficult because he just he has a lot of health, and I don't have a lot of health. What the fuck? Is that a crow? I was- I thought a dog was barking at me. I thought a dog was barking at me, bro. I didn't realize it was a goddamn crow. Dog crow. I guess so, yeah. Oh, chat. You guys are trying so hard. Oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> oh, I hate you guys so much. Chat, you're the worst. You're the worst people I've ever met in my life. Gone is just the worst Naruto, obviously. I cannot believe this. I, I, do I really have to deal with all this Hunter Hunter slander? Do I really have to deal with all this Hunter Hunter slander, guys? Just the whole stream? I don't know if I can do that. Like, I might just, I might just rant about it just to make you guys shut the fuck up. Oh my god. Oh, fuck you. Oh, I hate you so much. You guys are so mean. What the hell? I would never do that to you, chat. I would never, like, bully you about your favorite thing. Unless your favorite thing was, like, Seven Deadly Sins. That show is straight up dog shit. Oh my god, it's so fucking bad. And yet, mysteriously attracted to him at the same time. Um, origami. Thank you for the two tier one gifts. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Chat. We only need less than three hundred subs until the Dojin is released. Could today be the day? Do we have any whales in chat? Today could be the day, chat. Chat. You could all get off today. If you get a hundred more subs this stream, I'll even tell you what the Dojin's about. I'll even tell you what the dojin's about if you can get a hundred more subs. Nah, no spoils? Fuck. <laughs> Shit, backfired. No, no. Is chat hating Hunter Hunter again? They are. They're trying to bait me into ranting about it yeah, so that they can get I a good pair. <laughs> At this rate, One Piece will finish for 100, 100? I don't think so. One Piece is like... One Piece has like the American um, TV show syndrome where they're just gonna keep pumping out more episodes because it's profitable too. But I guess the author is getting up there, so it might get to a point where he has to like actually retire. So who knows? But as of now, it's pretty bad. Is this guy still mad at me, you think, chat? Do you think this guy still hates me? Like, do you think this guy still wants to kill me? Hello, good sir. Oh yeah, he does. He does. He still wants to kill me, chat. I, I wish that wasn't a thing, because it genuinely was an accident. And I really don't see a reason to punish me this hard for, like, what was genuinely an accident, you know? You know? I guess I'll just have to kill him. The car. Baka! Thank you for the 1,000 bits rise and ice. Thank you for zooming Zara. What the hell? Okay. Okay, well that was just a little unfortunate. <laughs> hey Tag, I'm surprising you're streaming this early. What a treat. I have a schedule, guys. Guys, do you not, do you not know I have a stream schedule, chat? Yeah, I, I posted in my Discord. I tell everybody when I'm gonna be alive. At the same time. 
They're, they're, they literally are just players with 99 in all stats, if I recall correctly. I didn't mean to kill him, chat. I didn't mean to fucking murder him. I could probably beat him if I tried really hard, but... I really don't want to murder him. But I kind of have no choice in the matter, you know? Hotties. Pee time? You guys want me to pee? But we're in front of everybody. Everyone's gonna make fun of me. They'll make fun of me if I pee in front of you, chat. Won't you? Or will you? Maybe if you want, I'll do it. If you won't make fun of me, I promise to pee in front of you, okay? I said degenerate. Oh my god. <laughs> I love how degenerate that is. Fuck. Oh. Yeah, I was scared and yet mysteriously attracted to him at the same Aculia, time. Aculia, Aculia, thank you for the prime sub. If it's time, it's time. If it's pee time, it's pee time, chat. Sometimes when you gotta go, you gotta go. Even open our mouths yet. Okay, get those mouths open, chat. I gotta piss. Okay, that was a very lovely stun lock, that was. Um, I guess I don't need to go back up that way anymore. Ew, no thanks. Chat. Open your mouth. Baka. Baka. I said no. I said, open your mouth. Baka. Make me. Oh, it's now you're speaking my language. <laughs> now you're, spe you're, you're speaking my brat language. Where will you post the feet pics? Gross. Chat, we're not simping for Mango's feet. Disgusting. Simp for me, chat. What the hell? Alive. Alive. WTF is wrong with this community? Uh, we're a bunch of anime nerds that are down bad. Oh man, speaking of anime nerds, okay, I, okay, I'm on the topic of Bridget, right? Okay, Bridget is like a girl now, guys, right? She identifies as a girl. Good for her, right? I'm happy for her. I love her. She's still got a cock. I still want to suck it, okay? It doesn't really matter. But, comma, however, comma, okay, there seem to be a group of people who are like, I don't know, they're like happy? Not that Bridget is trans, but that she's no longer a femboy. Like, I literally saw a post from like one of these people, from like some Twitter user, it was on Twitter, so like it's not a big deal, but I saw a post on Twitter and it was literally like, they were just like gloating about the fact that femboys are upset that Bridget is no longer a femboy. And I don't know why. Like, could you imagine chat? Could you imagine? I don't know, like, I, I, like... Granted, like, certain people are being, like, super bitchy that she's trans now. Or, like, that she's a girl now. And, like, whatever. Fuck those. Like, you know, fuck those people. But, Scale. however, comma, right? However, comma... <clears throat> like, you don't have to put down femboys, you know what I mean? I don't know why everybody just wants to put down everyone else, you know? And there's no need for it, you know? We could be happy that Bridget is trans now, or a girl now, and also sad that we've lost our femboys, our femboy representation, okay? Like, both can exist, and we can, they can you know, we can have both feelings without putting down the other. You know what? I'm gonna be normal. Tyga, how's the weather? Uh, it's a nice day out today. Too bad I'm stuck inside streaming for you virgins. I'm just joking. I love you guys. No, but I don't know. It, it just seems really weird. Like, there, there just seems to be, like, a sect of people 
who really fucking despise who really despise um like femboys on the basis of being femboys you know what i mean and i'm like bro we're all a part of the same like lgbt community right like femboys have just as much of a place in the gay community as trans individuals do and i don't see why like literally gloating and making fun of them and treating them like shit you know is any more constructive than what people do to trans individuals like every day you know it's a bit frustrating it's just a bit frustrating when it's like you know this kind of like negativity isn't called for you know oh i didn't mean to do that They think that all femboys and tomboys are just soon to be trans. I don't think, like, I don't think everybody thinks that. I just think they don't realize, like, how equally hurtful their words are, if that makes sense. I don't know. Oh, wait, there's a ladder here. Am I dumb? There's literally a ladder here. <laughs> Oopsie. Scal. 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 Thank you for the doing videos, I really appreciate it. I think they realize, here, let me go find the tweet chat. Let me go find the tweet I'm talking about because I'm, I'm going to read out exactly what they say. I'm going to read out exactly what they said. I'm going to read out exactly what they said. Okay, so just bear with me. Wait, am I still? No, I'm not still tracking, okay. Okay, yeah, here's what they, they tweeted out, an image of Bridget and then it, it, the, the image over top of the image, I had like a uh, text saying, the anime femboy community is dying. Retweet to make it die faster. With a picture of... Of Bridget. Over top. Like... Such a bummer, dude. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's pretty fucked. Imagine, like, saying that about trans people. Like, could you- could you- I, I, oh, the fucking, like, audacity. Also, they keep trying to say that Ostalfo is actually trans and not a femboy. I don't know, man. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, I get that, like, femboys and trans people, um, there's a lot of crossover on, like, what characters we tend to uh, be attracted to. But, like, man, I wish we could all just get along. I wish we could not just be, like, so diversive. But also, it's not, like, it's not only trans people, like, doing that, you know what I mean? Like... There are plenty of femboy like lovers who are doing the same shit to like on the other end. So it goes both ways, but man. Fuck. Only go to Twitter for Taiga. Don't even go to Twitter for me. I don't I don't need the Twitter followers. I don't need any Twitter clout. Gone, more like gonorrhea. Good one. <laughs> Bridget is still a femboy, it's just his pronouns that they're calling her, just like Bridget's backstory is a boy. Mm, I don't know. I mean, if Bridget wants to be called a girl, they're a girl. And apparently they do, according to... Who took my shirt off? You don't get clothes, you're only allowed to stream naked, but, but I like my clothes. Look at that, look how cool my shirt is, chat. Look at how cool my shirt is. Also, we still don't know which ending is canon yet. Um, there are all the endings. There's not, there's no such thing as canon endings. I'm glad. Chat, I, I if you're gonna, if you, I, I, I want you, yeah, I'm gonna say this right now. If you're gonna claim, I'm glad. That one of the endings in Guilty Gear Strive is not canon, you're gonna need a source for that, why? Okay? Because there has not been a single mention of canon endings until Bridget came out, and that was two days ago. Literally every single mention of the bad ending or the non-canon ending only started when Bridget's story came out, like, on the 8th. It's literally a conspiracy to cope with the fact that Bridget isn't a femboy anymore. I mean, Bridget can still be a fun boy, I guess. 
I mean, you can be trans and a fanboy, you know? I don't have a star, so I made it up for dramatic effect. Yeah. All is canon until the next game lore drops. Exactly. You know, so if they if they fuck it over with the next game, then the next game is canon. But as of now, um... If Bridget identifies as a girl, then they ruined her character? Well, then I guess they ruined their character. Because, um... I mean, she straight up says, I'm a girl in the game! Nah, good bad endings have been a thing in GG for years and have always been confusing fans. Uh, apparently not. Because yeah, I, I can. Look, look, okay, let me look up. Guilty <laughs> Gear. Bad endings. And, um, yeah, it's all about Bridget. How come if I look up Guilty Gear bad endings, there's not a single mention of bad endings in Guilty Gear Strive until Bridget came out? <laughs> Where are the other bad endings? Where are they at? Actually, if you look up Guilty Gear bad endings, the first thing that comes up is clearing up the bad ending misconception, a Reddit post, where if I click on it, it's gone. It's gone. It's not there anymore, but... It's not a thing, law. It's a fucking fighting game. No, I'm serious though, it's, it's like actually not a thing. If you look up bad ending, Guilty Gear bad ending, there's not a single mention of bad ending other than about Bridget. Um, there are flawless endings, which you get for like flawless in the arcade ladder, and then there's an imperfect ending, which you get if you happen to die during, during like, you know, the arcade ladder. <laughs> Like, most of the lore was indecipherable because of bad endings, come on. What bad endings? You, do you have a source? Badger, you need a source. You can't just keep saying bad ending this, bad ending that. You need a source. How come there's no mention of bad endings in Guilty Gear Strive? Where are they at? Why am I stuck? Oh, fuck me, man. Oh, come on! Just noticed a mouse cursor? Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Does anything in the non trans ending say she isn't a girl? No, we played both. I, that's why I downloaded the game. I literally went live at 12 a.m. at night, downloaded the game an hour before that, paid $85 for it, all so that I could go and play it myself and say for sure. And, um, we, we, we listened to the imperfect ending, okay? And we listened to the flawless ending, okay? And, um, the flawless ending doesn't even mention gender once, okay? It only mentions, uh, something about being true to yourself, with, which, if anything, could equally still be about, like, the, the, like, the flawless ending could still be referring to the fact that she's trans, you know? It just doesn't explicitly say it, you know? But it's always, it's all about, like, She's basically talking to Kai, or Ki, or whatever his name is, and she's like, How do you do it? How are you able to be true to yourself? Was it hard or something? Something like that. And he's like, It's not about what's hard, it's about what's right. I forget, I forget. But basically, he just tells her to be herself. Uh, and she's like, Yeah, I'll do that. So like, if anything, it can still be referring to the fact that she's like, maybe trans, you know what I mean? Just super subtly. Whereas the, uh, the flawless ending definitely definitely would have, um, the flawless ending, pretty vague. The imperfect ending, pretty on the nose, you know? Not even on the nose, it's, it's just pretty straightforward. Bridget would have been groomed by their parents? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think that's how lore works. <laughs> I don't think Bridget would have been groomed by her parents. Because Bridget literally, <laughs> Bridget literally, okay, 
knew why she was dressing as a girl, wanted to prove her the village's superstition wrong, so she made a bunch of money and brought it back to the village. And that was the thing. That was like an entire arc. She doesn't even have to dress like a girl anymore. She chose. She chose to dress like a girl, chat. She made a choice. She wasn't groomed. She made a choice. Why? Like, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Don't say that. It's fucked up. I just got back. Why are we talking about grooming? Uh, people are saying Bridget was groomed by her parents, and I am politely disagreeing. Um... I'm sure Bridget's parents also forced her to wear a hat during the winter time chat. Do you think she was groomed because she likes wearing hats in the winter now? Is that how you think that works? <laughs> Is that how you think that works, chat? Is that how you think that works? Oh my god. Her parents forced her to wear a hat during the winter. And now she wears hats during the winter. She must have been groomed. Like what? No. It's not okay. No. No. To be fair, it was a MAGA hat. <laughs> okay, well now we're talking- well, that's a different story. Now we're- now we're talking. Um... I believe if they didn't raise her as a girl, then uh, they would have to kill her, so they didn't really have a choice. Yeah, I mean, it was either like kicking her out, banishing her, or killing her. Him or her, you know? Uh, does anyone know where to go? I'm like actually lost at this point. I, I have no idea what to do. I just want to progress the game, but everything kind of leads to a dead end. I don't know, you can't say she- you guys, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm gonna end this discussion. You can't say Bridget is groomed just because she decided she was a girl after the fact, okay? Because if that's the case, you'd have to claim that she was groomed from the get-go. I mean, she was forced to wear girls' clothes from the very beginning, and she likes doing it. Regardless of whether or not she decides to be a girl, she still would have been forced to wear girls' clothes. How is it only grooming now that she's decided she's okay with it? Like, that doesn't make fucking sense. Don't say that. I don't- I don't- I don't- I don't- I don't agree with that at all. It's ridiculous, honestly. You know the limp after the wolf creature go there. Well, I don't know what that means. No, I don't know anything. I've never played this game before. Wait. Nani? Ah. She was forced to be a girl, his arc was to prove the villagers wrong, and then she did prove the villagers wrong. She already had that arc. She already got a bunch of money as a bounty hunter, brought it back, and the village was like, oh, okay, you're chill. She already got the arc. That, that, the arc was already done. You can't claim she was groomed just because she agree she's okay with being a girl. Like, that's ridiculous. If she was groomed, she was groomed regardless of whether or not she chose to be a girl. Why are you only claiming she was groomed now that she thinks she's a girl? Like, now that she's, like, okay with her gender identity? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, chat. It's a cope. Stop coping. If you're gonna claim something, claim it from the get-go. Be consistent or fuck off. Like, you can't claim that, like, what, if it was grooming, it was grooming the entire time. It doesn't just start being grooming because Bridget's like, you know what? I'm gonna make the choice to be a girl. That doesn't make it grooming. 
Like, it doesn't just go from, like, not being grooming to, oh, it's grooming now because I made the choice to be a girl. That's not how it works. That's, that's ridiculous. It's the dumbest the fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. If it was grooming, it was grooming from the start. So where are all the grooming allegations before this? Where, where, where's the grooming allegations from towards Bridget's parents before she came out as trans? Nowhere. Y'all are transphobic. Fuck off. Oh my god. I don't want to hear that shit. Y'all are just coping so hard. I'm serious. Like, like, it's kind of gross. Like how much you guys just hate. Like how much you guys don't want it to be true. I'm serious. Like I get, I get being upset. Like I, I get like missing out on that femboy rep, okay? But it doesn't mean you have to cope. Like you don't have to, you can be sad she's not a femboy, but you don't have to fucking like, literally cope so hard about her being trans. Fucking stupid. When she was a femboy, it wasn't grooming, but now that she's a girl, it is. Exactly, that's, it's ridiculous. It's, a, it's the notion is ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. It's a cope. Quit saying you guys, sorry, you're right. It was just one person. But I've seen it on Twitter a lot. I'm, I'm speaking generally when I say you guys. I'm speaking about... I'm speaking very generally. But yeah. Maybe we should move on? Why? Are you uncomfortable? Life is uncomfortable. The reason why... Mainly because it was not her own decision. The clothes... No, it was her decision. Guys, she already had the arc. You're not even familiar with the lore. You're just speaking out of your ass. You literally just know what some like incel told you on Twitter and you're not actually like paying attention to the actual life. She literally made a bunch of money, brought it back to the village and then proved the curse wrong. She already had that arc. She was looking for something to do with herself. She could have stopped cross-dressing at any point, but she didn't because she liked it. In the same way I like it. Why is cross-dressing grooming? What the fuck is wrong with you? It's not grooming when you raise a girl as a girl. Why is it grooming when you raise a boy as a girl? It doesn't make fucking sense. You guys are being fucking stupid. Just admit you, like, fuck, what the fuck is wrong with you? Wearing a fucking tight pair of panties isn't grooming, chat. It's just hot. Fuck me. And holy shit, we're talking about Guilty Gear Bridget. Like, we have been for the last, like, fucking 10 minutes. Oh my god. Yes, it's Guilty Gear chat. We've been talking about Bridget. I, like, we've said the name Bridget and Guilty Gear like 20 fucking times. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Ah. Ah. It wasn't totally your choice? Dude, it wasn't my choice to be raised as a boy. I wasn't groomed. My mom bought me boy clothes. That doesn't mean I was groomed, chat. My mom made me wear a hat in the winter. That doesn't mean I was groomed, okay? Oh no, my parents took me to church. Was I groomed? No. Shut the fuck up. It's not how, like, uh, you, you guys are, it's actually disgusting. <laughs> like, it's actually pretty fucking, like, incredibly offensive to, like, actual victims. So stop. Like, please stop. Ugh. Like, I was raised as a boy, and if I was raised as a girl, it wouldn't, like, oh fuck. Oh, please don't be gross, chat. Fuck me. Please don't be fucking gross. Ugh. Fuck, dude. Anyway, I'd like to focus on the game, so if you guys can stop being fucking transphobic in my chat, that'd be really cool. Stop coping so hard, it's embarrassing for everyone involved. Everyone that has to listen to you is embarrassed. Oh my god, dude. I'm confused, how did the assumption of Bridget being groomed even exist? It literally only started getting repeated the second she said she was trans. Good luck finding a single discussion saying that she was groomed before that point. <laughs> like, good luck. Holy fuck. It's just a fucking mega coke because people hate trans people.
Ah. So anyway, if you guys could stop bringing up like the most fucking disturbing topics in chat so I stop having to like disprove you and embarrass you in front of everyone, that'd be great, okay? I'd appreciate it. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for rooting my stream, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for, like, always bringing out in, like, the absolute worst topics because you guys, like, are terminally online and can't get off Reddit and just fucking repeat every dumb fucking thing you hear. Oh, my God. I love having to disprove idiots and then kill my stream because of it. It's really annoying. I love ruining the vibes on my stream because you guys can't stop being terrible people. Fuck. Kidding me, dude? Oh, come on. Let me fucking, like. Uh. I'm just wanting to get hungry again so I can demolish the rest of this rotisserie chicken. That sounds delicious. I think most people agree. I just don't want people like, oh my god. I just don't want people fucking repeating that someone was like literally abused as a child all because they were raised as a girl. Even though they had a penis. Like, fuck. Just stop jerking off like ginger rolls, guys. It's not that deep, you know? It's not that fucking deep. Also, within the context of this story, it was either that or they killed her, so, you know. Ah! You just, you don't just repeat everything you see online in the first place. If you're curious about that, do proper research. That's what I did. See, that's literally what I did, though. Because I heard everyone, like, debating, is Bridget trans? Is Bridget uh, femboy? Oh, it's the non-canon ending. I just went and fucking played the game for myself. And I guarantee fucking to you, I am literally the only person who actually bothered to buy the game, download it, and play it for myself to find out for sure, instead of just repeating some dumb shit I heard on Twitter or Reddit or 4chan. Because that's, that's, like, the fucking bare minimum amount of research anyone else was, like, fucking willing to do. Fucked over by hit stuns over and over again. Oh man. Baka. So yeah. Uh, in conclusion, please stop having strong thing opinions on things you know nothing about. Okay. If you heard someone tell you that Bridget actually isn't trans because it's the non-canon ending, you were lied to. You you were peddled a lie because it was copium. Like, like I'm sorry, but. You've been lied to. Check your sources, because like literally there's not a single mention of bad endings. Anywhere. Anywhere. Until Bridget came out. What does that tell you? Tells you that there's fucking copium. Copium all over. Everywhere. I know it's a tough pill to swallow, chat. I know it sucks to admit that a favorite character of yours who may have been a femboy may no longer be a femboy. You know? It, it, I, I, I'm fucking jealous as hell, if anything. I'm fucking jealous as hell. I wish Bridget was a boy, because I love them, they're fucking adorable, and I want to be able to relate to them more, okay? But, that doesn't mean I get to argue with facts, <laughs> you know? That doesn't mean I literally just get to argue with, like, you know, I can't just make up my own facts and, like, cope about, like, you know, well, actually, uh, it's the non-canon. No, 
Yeah, like I, 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 I wish it was true. I wish Bridget was still a fun boy, okay? Personally, because I love them and they're adorable and I'm jealous and I want to like relate to them and I want them to be like in my club, but they're just not, okay? At least as of now, it's looking like they're not. And uh, we'll see how they hold up in future games if they ever get added to future games, which they probably won't. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. You still need to know where to go? No, I figured it out, I think. I think I've... I've figured it out. They have cool hats? I like their cool hats. Yeah, it kind of sucks with the controversy as it might just stop the character from being used in the future. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think it's a bummer. I, I do think it's a bummer. And you could, I think there's like a totally valid argument to be made that it kind of like, you know, ruins her arc, you know? Okay. You can say that it's like dumb. Okay. But if you're like, if the sole reason you're upset is because Bridget is trans and not because Bridget is no longer a femboy, you're upset for the wrong reasons, okay? You can be upset that she's no longer a femboy and that you've lost that representation. But if you're upset that she is trans and that's like it, then like you need to, you need to cope harder, okay? You need to find like a hobby, okay? <laughs> you need to find a hobby. I hope this isn't controversial, but I want Bridget to pound my boy hole. Me too. I want Bridget to pound me as well. Am I finally making progress in this fucking game? Oh my god. Thank god. Their hobby is Twitter. You need to find a hobby that isn't going on Twitter, Reddit, or 4chan, okay? And the door's fucking closed. Dude, what is this game? Why is every pathway fucking locked? Where am I meant to go? Fuck! Yeah, I was scared and yet mysteriously attracted to him at the same time! <laughs> Honestly, it's better to just be happy with your life decisions and not force them on onto others. Yeah. The big beans, thank you for the tier one sub. I really appreciate it. Calm down. It's just a game. Oh man, I was really on the edge of my seat, but you know, your words helped me calm down. Thank you. Maybe it's up this way? Or did I come down? No, I came down from there. Dude, where the hell do I go, chat? I feel like everywhere I go is a dead end and it's just getting really fucking frustrating. Like, I would love to make some progress in this game, but everywhere I go is a dead end for some reason, and I don't really get it. First recorded instance of something saying, calm down, helping. It's crazy. Go to the roundabout. There are no cars in this world. What is what? Roundabout? I'll be the roundabout. The words will make it out of now. Spend the day away. Dude, if aliens like came down to visit Earth, there'd just be a bunch of people who like one denied their existence and then two argued about whether or not they should be allowed to. Like, oh, I'd just be miserable. Up the stairs to the right. Why? Always put sweetie after telling someone to calm down. That might help. If I like pull this lever and then like would I be able to sh Let 
That may have been a poor decision. I'm not gonna lie, I was really hoping that would open this door. I would really hoping, hoping like, I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. Every door in this fucking game I go to is closed, chat. I don't know what to fucking do. Oh, the wait, there's a lever right here. I'm dumb. <laughs> oh, thank God I'm stupid. Thank God I'm a dumb troglodyte. There is another lever. Lever. We are saved. I would really love to open this door. Everything is fucking closed in this game and I don't get why. I, I can, can like, I, how do I progress in this game chat? Every single, every single direction I've gone in. I've literally gone, gone in all the directions. I've literally gone through every single direction in this motherfucking game and it's all a dead end. I don't get it. Like, how can you have this many directions and not have any of them go anywhere? It, it, it's just, it's not even fun. It's just frustrating. It's just fucking annoying. Skill issue? It's not even a skill issue. You can't even say that I'm not like exploring the goddamn game because I am and it just doesn't go anywhere. Where the hell do I go? Where the fuck do I go, chat? Turn around. Tur like my character or my camera? The door you were just in. This one? The door to the left. Okay, so the left would be this way. Or are you just terrible with directions? I've already went down here. It's a fucking dead end. I literally went down here, chat. It's a dead end. Take me to somewhere that isn't a dead end. I'm tired of fucking running into dead ends constantly. Holy fuck. The window. I've already went up here. I've already been up here. It was a dead end. Look around while the elevator is moving. Bro, how hard do I need to work to progress in this game? Why is the progression literally hidden in an elevator shaft? Oh my fucking god. Fine. Fine. Let's go down the elevator. Okay, there's a fucking window right there. Fine. Like, why? 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 Fine. Why? What's- why? Why am I here? Why is this the way to progress? You go- you actually have to be kidding me. This is ridiculous. Is this actually- like, really? Why? <laughs> why? Why have a million fucking directions to go? All have them lead to dead ends, and then hide it in the fucking elevator shaft, dude. Why? You have a million different directions to go. Why put the only way to progress in an elevator shaft? Why? It's not even the way to go! Ah! This didn't help me at all. That literally didn't even help me. It just took me back to the beginning. It literally just took me back to the fucking beginning. Oh my god. I fucking hate this game. Buy a key. Go up the elev- I just did. I just went up the fucking elevator. It's a shortcut with items. It's a fucking random ass item that I don't even remember the name of already. What's the name of it? Like, what, what is this? Wait, what did I even just get? It was like, earn an accessory worn by messengers playing make-believe. What the fuck am I meant to do with that? The fuck does that mean? I can't even- oh, literally what the fuck does that mean? Give it to the merchants. This merchant? Like, is this bitch? Hadis. Oh, the hunt, Hadis. Here is a safe place, but next time you're out on a hunt, if you find any sane survivors, tell them to stick with him. Okay, well, like, he... what, if, if what, what merchant? Go to the bath messengers in the hunters. Oh my god. I fucking hate. Oh my god, dude. Why can't I just like. They have literally have like 16 different fucking branching paths. Why would you have them all lead to dead ends and then have the only way to be progress be hidden in an elevator shaft? 
that also leads to a dead end, so I wouldn't think to go there. Like, it literally makes no sense. That's literally just bad game design. They aren't dead ends. If they end with a locked door, they're a dead end. This is just bad game design. No offense, chat. Just a just a bad game design. I I okay. Well, I'm at this little bath fucking guy and I can't do anything. They're not dead ends because you will open them later. That's not how dead ends work. That is literally like li literally what the fuck? That's like yeah, I know like what do you think? Dead end definition. Let's look up the fucking Google definition of a dead end. An end of a road or passage from which no exit is possible. So if a door is fucking locked at the end of a passage, that means it's a dead end. It doesn't matter if it's gonna be opened later because it's a dead end now because you can't open the fucking door, chat. Stop trying to be a fucking pedant with me when you're literally not even getting your definitions right. Oh my god. At least get your definitions right if you're gonna be a fucking pedant. Fuck. It's a dead end. Anyway, now what do I do? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, can I, like, is, can, uh, do you have anything? Okay, so I came here for nothing. Bath messengers. I don't know what the fuck a bath messenger is, chat. I, I don't take baths, okay? Look at the fucking items. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the fucking items, chat. Oh, where's the goddamn bathtub? <laughs> what the fuck is a bathtub? What am I gonna do this? What, bath mess? What the, what the fuck are you saying? I'm looking at the items. An accessory worn by, like, like what? Do I sell it to him? Do I fucking sell it to him? Like, what? Purchase? Sell? Uh, do I just sell it to him? I'll sell it to him. Oh, uh, you can't sell it to him. Purchase. I, uh, am I gonna purchase the item I already have? The fuck, chat? The fuck? Think about, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Am I just gonna purchase what I already have? Hunter Chief Emblem. So I need to buy the key. That's dumb. That's fucking... That, that, is, that is the dumbest shit I've ever seen put in any Souls game ever. What the fuck? Why'd you tell me to come here, chat? When I like, I don't even have enough souls. I don't even have enough fucking souls. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Angry tiger's turning me on. It's not. Huh. Ugh. That's ridiculous. Why would you have like? Why? Why? Why not make a boss drop? I mean, that's literally just bad game design. I'm sorry. That's like not a good game design. I mean, like literally, like it, it, it's fuck a two year old could figure out that, hey, if, if we want to fucking give someone a key to open a door, we should just have a boss drop it. A little, a little two year old could get that far. A literal two year old could design that. How the fuck? Incredible. Incredible. But like I, I I'm like it's actually so fucking backwards, I'm I'm baffled. A fucking two-year-old could like understand the concept of like the things you do should progress the game, not just fucking buying it all souls. What the fuck? Not to mention the fact that I need to get ten thousand souls that I get to waste on an item when I would much rather use those ten thousand souls to level up. Oh my god, I'd literally rather use it to level up, but now I got, I got to spend ten k on a fucking item. You don't need- oh, now now I'm being told I don't need the key. Okay, great. So what the fuck? How do I progress in this game, chat? You don't need the key because you beat the blood-starved beast. Go back up the elevator, and then cross the bridge, then go back to the tower, and then jump down. What? Chat. I'ma say it. 
This section of the game is poorly designed. I won't say the entire game is poorly designed, but I have no issue saying this section of the game is poorly designed. the way up? I don't know how to get up, chat. I can't get an erection. And it looks like I have to go down to progress. Is there a ladder somewhere? Okay, well, I can't go up, so... Okay, now I want to go all the way up the elevator. So what, what did I even get this little thing for? What did I even get that thing for? Was that, like, was there even any point to me coming through this little window? Like I was told to? Okay, we'll just go all the way up then. Fuck it. Do I really have to return to the hunter's dream to get my health back? Because if so, I'm just going to fucking do it. Yo, Taga, is that Resident Evil? No, this is not Resident Evil. Dude, I don't know, man. I heard so many good things about Bloodborne, and I kept saying, like, man, I'll probably like it, but... And I do. Like, I do like it. Like, like the gameplay itself is fun. But, oh my god, the progression so far has been, like, blood-boilingly, like, just... dense. Just fucking dense. That's the only way I can describe it. Like, like an idiot must have, like, come up with this shit. We're gonna make... Five different paths branching out from one area, and all of them are gonna be behind. They're gonna lead to locked doors. And then, and then we're gonna make the only way to unlock one of the doors. You gotta go back to the hunter's dream and buy a key. And we're not gonna tell you that at all. <laughs> we're just gonna expect that chat probably told you. <laughs> Like, I don't, uh. Like, it's dense. Why is this person Western as fuck? Because I wanted to sound as stupid as possible. And everybody knows Southerners are the dumbest people alive. Apologies to any southerners in chat. Um, okay, is it down here I want to go, man? Is it down here? I guess? Finally, we found somewhere that wasn't a dead end yet. Potentially, we'll see. Oh. We're going to Blight Town, chat. We're going to Blight Town. If you don't want to do this, then just buy the key. You're only 2k away anyway. I want to experience the game. I don't even know. You know what the funniest part is, chat? You know what the funniest part is? I don't even know what the fucking key opens. I don't even know what the fucking key opens. I don't even know. I have no idea what the key opens. I, look, I don't even, I literally wouldn't even know I need a key if you guys didn't tell me. You know what I mean? Look, I literally wouldn't know that I needed a key if you didn't tell me I needed a key. You don't need a key. Well, there you go. 
amazing. There's a door there. Although... You're rolling. Um... Did we just die? Seriously? Oh wait, I see something down there. I might be able to jump down there. That might kill me though. Jumping down to that little little platform down there could either kill me. Don't jump, you maybe die. Die maybe. Well then what the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> what do I do? Yeah, fall to the right and try to land on the platform, right? Yeah. Really? They actually want you to take damage. Okay, I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. This game has some questionable, like, it, it just kind of, like, defies every, like, expectation you'd have. Usually games wouldn't, like, make you intentionally injure yourself to progress. Because that would trick the player into, like, you know, like, I just wouldn't expect that. I, uh, there are things I just wouldn't try because I expected... This is FromSoft though, right, and I'm basing this off of past FromSoft games, which I've played. Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. Every Souls games do that? No, they really don't. They're, they really don't. If they want you to do some platforming, they aren't gonna, like, put you in front of a jump that'll intentionally, like, do damage to you and potentially kill you. 1, 2, 3 have similar areas to this? Yeah, and none of them require you to take damage to, to, to traverse. None of them want you to kill yourself to get down. Game designers will intentionally avoid doing that because they know that players will, like, not think of it. It'll, it'll trick the players into thinking that they're going- Like, I, I would- I, like, for all I know, I'd be going the wrong way. Dark Souls 2? You're right, chat. My, my mistake. The worst game in the series does it. My bad. Hey, dude. How's it going? Oh, you're- you're an enemy. I'm fine. You're right, chat. The worst game in the series does it. That says a lot for Bloodborne, doesn't it? Looking at <laughs> him. You're right, chat. Bloodborne is very reminiscent of the worst game in the series. Elden Ring literally did it too? No, Elden Ring definitely doesn't do that. Elden Ring does do it? Never once. I'm sure you can take damage. Elden Ring does do it, does it, but it's just optional. If it's optional, then they don't do it. If it's optional, then it's not intended. Elden Ring gives you ways to go down without killing yourself. <laughs> okay. This is optional, just Alt F4, then it's option? I suppose. I'm just saying, from like a game design perspective, you probably just want to give your players a way down. Because if it looks fatal, players just won't attempt it. But if it's required to progress, then if you have players that are literally not going to attempt something because it looks fatal, then you just have players not finishing the game. Until they look it up, inevitably look up the answer and find out that's the right way to go. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. I don't know. I, like, the only reason I would do that is if I literally didn't want players to finish my game. Which I guess you can do. Like, if you just don't want players to finish the game, you know, like, go for it. Um, Dark Souls players throw themselves off every edge for secrets. Dark Souls players are sweaty elitists that are gonna do that. <laughs> the average player is not doing that. 
Listen, guys, I know we're all sweaty elitists, but if we could, like, think in the perspective of the average player for, like, one minute, I think your arguments would be a lot more reasonable. Notice how I was able to go down without taking damage? Did you see that shot? <sighs> oh, I nearly killed myself. I was so scared. Oh my god, I'm gonna pee. I'm gonna pee. Stop! I'm gonna pee. I'm gonna fucking pee. Stop, chat. I'm gonna pee. Stop! It's playing on curiosity, people wanting to test themselves. That's never what the games are about, though. See, what happened was, here's what happened, chat. They made Demon Souls, and were like, we really like this formula. Let's make another one. And then they made Dark Souls 1, and it was wildly successful. But the problem is, they didn't actually really know how to iron out a lot of the kinks of Dark Souls 1. So there's a lot of issues with it, you know what I mean? Flawed masterpiece, as everyone says. Okay. Um, however... The player base, the Western player base, being easily easy to manipulate and incredibly dumb, um, thought that that was meant to be the appeal of the games, and FromSoft was like, oh my god, these fucking masochists like this shit? And then they just kept doing it. They just kept doing it. They were like, wait, we can design dog shit games and people will play them? And then they kept doing it ever since. Not that the games are dog shit, just that they're definitely broken messes of games. <laughs> they're definitely pretty broken. People were complaining all the time about it being too hard. Right, right. And then that, inc and that, and that what that did is it invented a niche. It invented a bunch of people coming to Dark Souls 1 expecting the game to be really hard. So, when they made Dark Souls 2, they were like, people want the game to be really hard, right? Let's just tell them how hard the game is going to be. And then they literally do that. In the opening cutscene for Dark Souls 2, you get these three old ladies that literally tell you how hard the game is going to be. They jerk themselves Hello, off. Darkness, my old friend. They're like, oh, you're going to die so many times, and you're not even going to know why. Like, they're literally just describing the experience for Dark Souls 2. Verbatim. Verbatim. Make sense? Dark Souls 2 is annoying, but not hard. No, Dark Souls 2 is incredibly easy. Like, the bosses were all pushovers. All of the difficulty was located in, like, the overworld stuff. Like, going to the bosses was where the hard part of the game was. They would just fucking spawn six enemies behind you. Um, they would just fucking flank. They, they love the flanking. They love the flanking mechanics. All they would do in Dark Souls 2 is just spawn 16 enemies behind you and then flank you with them. Oh, fucking crows, dude. Excuse me? Have you played DMC? I have not played DMC. Anyway, the, the point I'm trying to make, chat, the thing I'm trying to say is that these games are designed horribly on purpose, okay? Because they know that you're not going to be able to tell the difference between good game design and bad game design, so they don't even try. They don't even need to try. They know that you live for the dog shit design, and you're just going to say it's good anyway. They know you're a dumb consumer, so they're just going to keep letting you be one. They're just gonna keep selling shit to you because they know you're gonna buy it. And they, they, they could make the worst game in the fucking world and people would still defend it. I mean, Dark Souls 2 has a fan base, so. Yeah. 
You should play an actual dog shit game. I have played a dog shit game. I played Dark Souls 2. Can I like not get stun locked, dude? Come on, that's so lame. No, like an actual horrible game. Yeah, like I said, I played Dark Souls 2. What, I feel like you guys aren't listening to me. I played Dark Souls 2. Okay. I beat Dark Souls 2. I literally beat the worst game in the world. Tiger, Dark Souls 2 is not that bad. Uh, I don't know. It's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's one of those games that's like barely, I don't know, it's barely playable. It's, it's, it's bare, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad, chat. I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I, I love to defend it, but there's really nothing nice I can say about Dark Souls 2. To be fair, most of Dark Souls 1's difficulty has to do with how new the mechanics were. No, that's what I mean. That's, I, that's, I'm, I completely agree. Dark Souls 1 is only difficult because they were bad at developing. They didn't, like, refine the mechanics yet. Dark Souls 1 is absolutely entire, entirely difficult only because of the mechanics. Creepy fuck. They, they like, hadn't refined the mechanics yet, and uh, it was rough. Same with, like, Dark Souls 2 to an extent, because they had a different dev team working on it. They weren't really, like, worried about refining the mechanics. In fact, they kind of made it worse with the adaptability stat and just, like, how clunky the, da the dodge felt in general. Um, and then they finally got it right with Dark Souls 3, and then everyone said the game is too easy, but what they didn't realize is that it's not that it's too easy, it's just that the game is better now. You know? They can make the dodge better. They have snap- like, they, they just- everything's cleaner in Dark Souls 3. So that's why the game feels easier. It's because, mechanically, it is better. <laughs> mechanically, it's better! Which is why you think it's easy. Bloodborne represents the eldritch horror of spending one night in England. Oh, it is scary. Dark Souls 3 has bosses like the Dancer, it's not that easy. Dark Souls 3 only can have bosses like the Dancer because the mechanics are so refined now. If Dark Souls 3 kept its like fucking clunky ass dodge system from D Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2, we would never get that many bosses. The only good boss in, like, Dark Souls 1 and 2 that I can even remember is Artorius. And the reason Artorius is considered so incredibly difficult is because of how fucking shit it is to dodge. Artorius moves like the player. A lot of bosses are like Artorius in Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3 is much easier. Rolls are too easy and OP to spam. No, they're only easy. <laughs> well, did you guys... I feel like I just... I feel like you guys didn't listen to what I said. Dark Souls 3 is easy, is considered easy, because of the, how the mechanics have been refined since Dark Souls 1 and 2. You think it's easy because it just feels better to play. Oh, you're right. That is a shortcut. I'm dumb. I'm a dummy. Well, dummy. I don't want to jump down here, though. Whatever, I guess I will. Ladder. Okay. Finally, progression. All those ranting and look, Chad has pointed you in the right direction. I guess. Tangentially, yeah. I don't understand how everyone can say Dark Souls 3 is too easy, but like Elden Ring isn't when it's like the same shit. Just wanted to point that out, by the way. Dark Souls 3 is too easy. Elden Ring is like perfect though. Elden Ring is perfect. Elden Ring is the easiest Soulsborne game so far. Mm-hmm. I think you guys use the word easy too, like, freely. 
I think you guys will play a game and just really enjoy yourself. It'll have the right amount of challenge, but also progression. And you'll say it's too easy because, you know, oh, I'm not literally screaming and molding. It must be too easy. Where the fuck am I? Oh my god. Are you serious? Dude, I would. <laughs> also, if anything, Bloodborne's the easiest game. The dodge is way more OP in Bloodborne. How come nobody wants to talk shit about how easy Bloodborne is? I didn't waste half a year on the game. It's too easy. Elden Ring is so much harder because of its open world and not, hey, follow this path for progression. Yeah, I agree. Elden Ring's pretty hard once you like if you're not if your build isn't online and you travel too far in like the wrong direction without farming, you kinda just get put behind. Like I can't tell what people are referring to as easy, you know? Like what's easy? The bosses? Are the bosses too easy in Elden Ring? Cause like if we're talking about the overall progression. Oh uh, what why did this asshole get it? He didn't even kill me! You literally didn't kill me! Chat, what do I do? Chat, what do I do? Why does this asshole have my shit? Why does he have it? Kill it? I can't! He's way too tough! Unless I use a fire paper. I really enjoy accidentally being able to accidentally walk into a high-level area. I don't. I really didn't enjoy that. Elden Ring was easier IMO because you could avoid the bosses and get a lot stronger with better weapons and go back later? How does that make it easier, though? That, that That's just more work. You have to work harder, then. It's easier to grind in Elden Ring? Not really. The boss, uh, the soul economy in Elden Ring is completely fucked. Bosses drop next to no souls. You choose when to fight, that makes it easier? I could say that about every game, what do you mean? I can choose when to take on a boss. I can go farm in other games. Okay, well. Let's hope we don't lose all of our goddamn souls. We probably will, though. Actually, that hit him pretty hard. Okay, okay. Okay, we're out of healing. That's a little fucking rough. And he just kicked us and we lost all our fucking health. Fuck this game! Oh my god! This game fucking sucks. Ugh. That guy didn't even kill me and then he got all of my fucking souls. He didn't even kill me and he got all of my souls. I agree, Elden Ring is the easiest. I don't think it is the easiest, though. Like, I, I, I wholeheartedly disagree. In fact, I think, I'm pretty sure Elden Ring has one of the hardest bosses in the entire game with it. If you guys are saying the game is easy because you can out-level it, then that's just you being a bitch. Like, like, yeah, you know, if you break the game, I guess it is easy. So, if we're talking about which game is easiest to break, you could argue, yeah, sure, Bl uh, Elden Ring's the easiest to break because it's the easiest to farm in. But... That's also you just being a bitch, you know what I mean? So if you want to bitch out and, like, cheat, basically, just to beat a game... Yes, but the hardest boss is optional? No, it is. Well, like, who cares if it's optional? See, I think we're all rating, like, what's easy on different terms. Like, you guys are saying it's easy because you can out-farm it and beat any boss, but, you know what I mean? That's just you being a bitch. I mean, yeah, if you play like a bitch, the game's really easy, you know? 
Bloodborne doesn't give you much time to grind as much as Elden Ring. I can go grind whenever I want. Actually, Bloodborne gives you plenty of time to grind because you have to go grind every single time you attempt a boss because every single time you die, uh, your fucking healing potions don't replenish. If anything, you're doing nothing but farming in Bloodborne. Regardless of whether or not Bloodborne is easy to farm, it's all you're doing half the time because you need to stock up on healing potions, right? Am I wrong? Like, I don't really have a choice in that, you know? So if we're talking about what game, like, you know, it's irrelevant what game is easiest to grind in. Because what matters is, let's, like, we, what we should be basing it off of is assuming you're at level fighting each boss and how hard it is to do so. We should be rating the game off of how hard it is to fight each boss at level, okay? And traverse the world at level. Because if we're just saying, if we're gonna write an entire game off and say it's easy just because if you can fucking out farm it really well. That's just you being a bitch. Because it doesn't take into account the mechanics of the game and how that interacts with bosses. You know what I mean? Like, every boss is really easy if I only need to land one hit and instantly kill them, you know? Like, I, I, I could get to that point in any, like, Soulsborne game. I could farm non-stop if I wanted to at the start of the game and level myself up so high, high to the point where I'm, like, you know, I cannot level anything. I could do that, like, immediately. At, at, at any point. It would just be, like, you know, it might take longer, but... So that's not what we should be, like, rating difficulty on in games. It's ridiculous. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Dark Souls 2 wins in hardness? I disagree. I disagree. And I don't disagree because it's not easy to farm or some dumb shit like that. I disagree because the mechanics of the game trivialize every single boss fight there is. I can literally just stock up on 100, like, life gems and pop them during a boss fight and have passive regen for, like, three minutes, if I wanted to. So I would say Dark Souls 2 is probably one of the easiest. The only reason it's considered, like, uh, the only reason, the only stuff I struggle with was, like, the overworld parts. Like, going from boss to boss, and that's just because they would spawn six enemies on you when you didn't expect it, and then they would all stunlock you and instantly kill you. So it's not even that the game was hard, it's just that the game literally had the cheat to kill me. The game literally had to spawn enemies behind me, just to fuck me up so I would die. Makes sense, chat? The overworld's also easy if you're paranoid. I guess. Everything's easy if you're paranoid. <laughs> Finding the bosses at levels uh, you are meant to, even with what you said there are bosses that will one-shot you if you don't cheat or overlevel. Well then how are we supposed to say one game is easier than the other if you have to overlevel? In fact, I would say if you have to overlevel to beat a boss, that would make the game pretty damn difficult. Would it not? Isn't that the point? Like if you're if you're forced to overlevel yourself, that would make the game that would mean the game is harder, not easier. And regardless of how easy it is to overlevel yourself, the fact that you have to do it to beat a boss, I would say, speaks to the game's difficulty, not to how easy it is. Getting one-shotted at level for a boss isn't the game being hard, it's just bad design. I also agree with that, but, you know, we're Dark Souls players, so... When a game is badly designed, we don't acknowledge it, we just blame everyone else. I didn't mean to be here, did I? Well, no, I did. Yeah, I'm trying to get my souls back. 
Is this guy still gonna have my soul? My souls? The thing with Souls games is that the difficulty slider is the weapon you use. The lead dev has said this in has said this in interviews. Is that so? That's funny. I don't like it equals bad design. Yeah, that's definitely what I just said verbatim. Wait, what? 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 Why were my souls on the ground? Okay, chat. Okay, can we... Bug? Feature? Well, congrats, I guess. Yeah, I... Yeah. I don't even know what to fucking say. I'm confused. Yeah, uh, I think the game's a little, a little, a little bad. A little, a little broken. A little, it's not perfect, chat. It's not perfect, okay? It's not perfect. The game is taking pity. Maybe they realized that that enemy that didn't kill me shouldn't have had my fucking souls, so they put it on the ground instead. Very kind of them, if anything. It's a feature. It's a bad feature, then. It's a confusing feature. Makes no sense kind of feature. Okay. Ludwig's rifle. Um... Where's my blunderbuss, chat? Or is there none? It doesn't look like I can get one. Okay, I'm not buying a blunderbuss. We're just gonna level up. Welcome. We're gonna level up once, and then never again. Um... I feel like I want some strength. I feel like I could be hitting harder. Farewell. This game already knew he was gonna eat your lunch money, so he gave it back to you for free. Where's my goddamn electric car? I don't know what that means. Old Monster Hunter for me, then Dark Souls. Old Mon Hun felt like it was unfairly punished you if you didn't study every inch of every monster in the other fight. I don't know, man. I'm I I'm really sick and fucking tired of the notion, the idea, that is constantly, and I do mean constantly, pushed by Dark Souls fans, that every single quality of life change uh, is bad. I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate that requesting or opting in for quality of life changes is, is frowned upon by people, by, by like mainly Dark Souls fans. It bums me out. It just bums me out. Because it really just does come from, like, a place of elitism. A place where it's like, I beat the game when it was shit, so everyone else has to suffer as I have. Quality of life is bad. Yeah, exactly. It's literally, like, it is literally the equivalent of people saying, like, we shouldn't forgive student debt because I had to pay my student debt. <laughs> it's coming from the fucking same place. Oh yeah, fuck that argument. Trash, right? Oh man. It's really funny too when politicians make that argument because you can look it up and see what kind of loans they got and how wealthy they were and like where kind of families they came from. And most of the time, they never actually paid their fucking student debt. So it's always really funny like seeing it get made by that- seeing that argument get made by those people because like, oh man. Like, why don't we want to make future generations have an easier time? Yeah, it's like, you know what I mean? No one said life is supposed to... Well, I get that no one said life is supposed to be easy, but no one said it's supposed to be goddamn hard either, you know? You know, chat? You know what I'm saying? Did he beat the Bloodstarved Beast? I did. It was, a, it was a pretty tough fight, but I did beat it. Games are not life, let them be easy. No, I'm not even saying let them be easy, okay? I'm just saying, like, games can be hard. Games should be hard. Some games should be hard, you know? However, comma, 
Um, you know what I mean? However, um, <laughs> just because something can be hard doesn't mean we shouldn't, like, add some quality of life changes, okay? Like, quality of life changes are not to make the game easier. They're to make it more enjoyable. For example, okay, if Blight Town, for instance, ran at 15 FPS when I played the game, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't update it to be 60 FPS just because everyone else had to deal with it in 15 FPS, okay? Quality of life changes should exist and, and should be added to make the game more enjoyable. And as long as that's like the number one... Oh god. How's it going, boys? Okay, well that was just my bad. <laughs> People got mad at Elden Ring for adding NPC markers on a giant ass map. That's what I mean though. I think they're just so allergic to change. Like Dark Souls elitists are just so allergic to change. They're so allergic to like the quality of life fixes that don't like actually make the game any easier. They just make it less tedious. They're like, man, if I'm not literally like fucking rubbing my eyes, you know what I mean? Ugh. If I'm not literally pulling my hair out trying to beat this game, it's no fun. Like, for instance, like, Dark Souls, like, going from Dark Souls 2 to Dark Souls 3 had nothing but quality of life changes for, like, mechanics. And everyone's like, oh, it's too easy. It's too easy. It's like, no. The game's felt better than it's ever felt. It's not too easy. It's fucking fun. Like, like, I'll level with you, chat. Fucking Dark Souls 3 is way more fun than any other Dark Souls game I've ever fucking played. Period. Okay? I enjoy dodging around like a fucking maniac. That's the gameplay loop I like. It's goddamn fun. I like being able to dodge big attacks and feel like I'm I'm a badass in in a fight, you know? Dark Souls 2 had the best PvP. I disagree. <laughs> yeah. I literally just got hit through a wall. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. It's not about having hard bosses. It's about the, the difficulty coming from something other than the fact that the game plays like dog shit. The reason Dark Souls 1 is hard is because the game plays like dog shit. The combat sucks. Like, fighting, hitting someone and trying to dodge, it sucks. There's a huge delay on the recovery for the dodge. It's miserable. It's not fun. It feels slow and clunky. That's why Dark Souls 1 is hard. And it's not the fun kind of difficulty either. It's not like, oh, I'm having so much fun getting fucked. Like, it's not fun. It's not fucking fun. <laughs> it, it's really miserable. It's clunky as hell. It's not smooth. It doesn't make for a good game. I'd much rather have a dark, uh, I'd much rather have like a boss be difficult because, you know, it has some crazy attacks that I have to time really well as opposed to, uh, well, you literally can't keep up with the boss because the mechanics are so bad. You know? Does that make sense, chat? If you're gonna kick my ass in a goddamn fight, do it because the boss is hard, not because the mechanics suck. You know? Okay, can I like literally just play the game at all? Or are you guys just gonna fucking stunlock me? Yeah, you're just gonna stunlock me. You're just gonna stunlock me, dude. I fucking hate that. Dude, they're just stunlocking me. Absolute cunts. Holy fuck. Uh, from a perspective of someone who never really played Zulzai -like games, the discussion looks like two people screaming at each other about a peanut. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter, because at the end of the day, all the things I like about Souls games and I require all the changes like I think they should make, uh, they end up adding and everything everyone disagrees with me on, they end up like scrapping. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm kind of always right. You know what I mean? 
So like, I, there's really no reason for me to argue because really everything I say is gonna get implemented into the game at some point, as it always has. Like literally every time I criticize a game or a function for the game, when they make the next one, they always improve on it. It's actually hilarious. It's actually hilarious how I'll say something like bad about Dark Souls 1 and people will tell me I'm wrong. And then I'll go to play like the next game in the series and they'll immediately fix that issue. Or I'll criticize the issue in Dark Souls 2, move on to Dark Souls 3, they immediately fix that issue. So clearly the devs agree with me. I mean, <laughs> so it's not really, there's not really much room to debate because clearly the devs are on my side, you know? Every single idea I've pretty much suggested, everything I've complained about uh, and said needed to be like improved or fixed, the devs have done in the next game, especially in Elden Ring. So I just think it's funny, you know? Obviously Tiger's dad knows on Nintendo, you know? Clearly I've got, a, I've got it in. No, but like, I'm not even kidding though, like... And you wanna know what the reason for it, chat is? You wanna know what the reason is? The reason is because the complaints I have are the complaints that a lot of players have. Okay? And the devs wanna sell as many games as possible. So instead of fucking ignoring all the complaints and acting like they're right all the time and just being elitist cunts, they actually like add the improvements to their game and then they sell more copies. Crazy how that works, right? I think it's, uh, I think it's something we call capitalism. Something we call capitalism here in the studio chat. The casual? Sure, call me a casual. I mean, you can call me a casual, right? And that's fine, right? Because at the end of the day, you know, you're the one bitching constantly because your games are quote-unquote getting ruined, and I'm enjoying myself because the games are getting better with every installment. Only one of us is having a good time here, and it's me. And it's because, you know, the games are actually getting better because of my suggestions, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So like, you know, stay miserable or whatever. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being a little too mean, but like, it is funny to me. It, it, it's genuinely funny to me. It is genuinely funny to me how people constantly tell me I'm, I'm wrong about everything and then like the next game comes out and then I'm immediately proved right about everything. Every complaint and criticism I had is immediately validated when they, when they make the adjustment. For example, in Dark Souls 3, what did I complain about endlessly, chat, for those who were there? What did I complain about endlessly in Dark Souls 3? If you watch me, you know. Jumping and kicking, that's correct. And what did they immediately fix in Elden Ring? What did they finally fix in Elden Ring when, in, when the game came out? Oh, that's crazy, jumping and kicking. <laughs> oh, that's crazy! Mm -hmm. So anyway, keep on coping, chat, keep on coping. Keep on telling me I'm wrong and that I need to just get good. Because clearly FromSoft agrees with me. FromSoft agrees with me on the, on, on the basis of just because, you know, a mechanic is fucking dense and complicated and stupid to use doesn't make our game better. To be fair, Taiga, D-E-S? What is D-E-S? You're correct and should still get good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, dude. I'm getting a little sick of this. I wonder if all this arguing about games happens on every stream. You bet it does, baby. Can you, like, not? Can you get stunned at any point? My criticisms are making Dark Souls, Soulsborne games better, chat. Baka. Bro, oh, I hate it. I wish like one of them would get stunned. So like, okay, there goes all of my health. Okay, there goes all of my health. I'm trying to fucking heal. Literally not game, literally not letting me. Game literally not letting me heal. What the actual fuck, just ate that. Oh my God, I hate this. 
so miserable. The synchronized stabbing, yeah. It would be nice if they got stunned, but they just don't sometimes. But yeah, anyway, the the moral of the story is chat uh, is that I'm always right, and uh, you know you can tell me to get good, but at the end of the day, they're just gonna implement all of my criticisms anyway. They're just gonna implement whatever I tell them to, whatever I say they should. So you're welcome for making your games better, chat. You're welcome. Are you fucking serious? Bro, how did that do me so much damage? No rest for a good femboy. Ah, I mean, these are just the way things are. Tag, I get Ludwig's blade? No, I don't want it, and I don't have any souls. I don't know if you've noticed, I've died like six times in a row to the same enemy. I literally have no souls. I can't buy an item. It costs money, because I have no money. Bye. <laughs> Well, not to mention I can't level it up, can't upgrade it. I, I don't need it. I'll, I'll be fine. Holy fuck, literally where did you come from? Oh my god, dude. Oh, this fucking game. I'm out of here. Little bro's gonna be a game developer then soon. I think the problem is just that most like Soulsborne players are such like like insufferable elitists that they literally can't like just accept anybody like criticizing their game you know what i mean they don't view me as like i'm not good enough to criticize the game right like i'm not good enough to talk about it i'm a fucking nobody i just picked up this game tiger just picked up bloodborne for the first time and is trying to criticize it i played bloodborne for years you know you can't criticize my game And then, so like, you know, they'll just like, refuse to acknowledge like, any of my criticisms. But then the devs will like, implement it anyway. It's really funny. Stop strongmaning a whole community for a vocal minority. Stanford, with all due respect, I have played like, Dark Souls 1 on stream, Dark Souls 2 on stream, Dark Souls 3 on stream, Elden Ring on stream, and now Bloodborne on stream. Okay. I have dealt with this community for like about two years now. Okay, they, I, it's 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 not a minority. <laughs> the hardcore fans of this community are completely insufferable. Like I, I wish they weren't. Trust me. If anyone wishes they weren't, I, I, it's me. Um, they are the most toxic, elitist like people in the community I've ever met. Every time they come into stream, all they do is backseat game and talk out their fucking ass, and most of the time they're goddamn wrong. They'll tell you to get good, and then god knows they fucking took like 16 hours of- like, it, it, the gatekeeping's bad. It's- it's bad. It's really bad. And I've dealt with it for years, from this community. And I- I only play the games because I enjoy them, you know? Like, I- I wouldn't be putting up with them if I had a choice. <laughs> This, yes, gatekeeping is bad, but when people gatekeep something important and precious to them, uh, they get ostracized. If people don't want to see something they, they love go go away, side, then they have to stand for it. I mean, if that's what they're doing, that's what they're doing, but, you know, it just makes them look insufferable. They're literally the get good community, you know what I mean? I don't talk about games that I've never played. Well, luckily, I don't either, which is why I go and play the games before I play the games. I'm just trying to enjoy my time with people who share a mutual love for from <laughs> Me too! Me too! Listen, I'm not like putting anyone down, I'm fine. We just do a bit of a bit of ranting, okay chat? No big deal. But yeah, it can be a little to bit toxic, but they would just really love the series. And I get that. And that's fair. And that's valid. Okay. Doesn't make it not toxic though.
Get Good is supposed to be ironic a lot of the time, but a lot of people take it. No, I think it started as an ironic thing. From what I heard, it started as like a criticism. Because like there were genuinely some fucking unfounded criticisms that like game journalist type pop players would make. And um, Get Good started as a criticism to like just put them down because it was easier than arguing with them about some dumb shit. Um, let me guess, the door's closed? Oh, it's actually open, holy fuck. Uh, it, yeah, it started as a joke, but it's definitely gotten to the point where, like, people just say it unironically about, like, even the most actual dog shit, like, of mechanics and criticisms. Whenever I hear Get Good, I just think of the guy who couldn't beat the Cuphead tutorial. Yeah, me too. Me too, me too. Okay, this is a boss, eh? I'm getting boss vibes, chat. I could be wrong. Hmm. I don't know what you guys are on about in the Souls forums. Uh, I've been in people. I've been in people. What? You've been inside people? You've been in people use get good ironically for a sense of accomplishment, but okay. I mean, that's great. I'm not on a Souls forum, I'm in my stream, and I get people telling me to get good when I get hit through a wall walking through a boss door, so... <laughs> um... I literally get told get good for complaining about, like, unironically broken mechanics. Oh my god, what's going on? Oh my god! Grandma, what big ears you have! Oh, we do no damage shot. Ah, oh, shit, that hits hard, okay. That hits very hard, okay. Um. Oh, fuck. Well. Um, well, I don't think I'm ready for this boss. Um, the only time I say get good uh, is when it's actually funny. I don't know, I'll say get good if, if someone like is actually just having a skill issue, you know what I mean? Thanks I'll for not good. ranting about HXH. You're welcome. I can rant about Hunter Hunter now, right chat? Yeah, you know, you may not be ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure I'm ready, chat. I'm not sure I'm ready. Um. Independent raindrop gifted a tier one sub to Basti three thousand two hundred and thirty-four. Oh my god! Can you like just stop putting two enemies right next to each other and just fucking having them spam the same attack? Uh, so I. There we go. Fuck me. Blue elixir. We'll never know what that does. All right. Why is there an X when it's called Hunter Hunter? What's the fucking point of the X? Uh, it's branding. <laughs> branding is the point of the X. I don't know, it's not that complicated, right? It's not that confusing, is it, chat? Just having, like, an X there? Is it? I mean... In the same way you got, like, Spy X Family or Spy Family, you know, it's just... It's just there. Just, just, just like a... Yeah! I was scared! And yet, mysteriously attracted to him at the same time! <laughs> I thought it was Hunter versus Hunter? That's like another way you could read it. Or think of it as. Um... 
Because the show is about, it's basically like hunters hunting hunters. So it's like hunter x hunter, you know? It's like, you know? I, I don't know, it's not that complicated, is it? <laughs> it's not that complicated, is it? Rule of cool is the best explanation. I'm okay with that rule. Cunt. Fucking stupid. Ugh. I'm noticing in a lot of these like encounters, it's just a lot of fucking, they'll, they'll put like one enemy you actually have to worry about. But you can kind of take care of rather to live easily, and then they'll put like a little fucking crow next to it or another copy of the same enemy. Just so that like whenever you try to hit it, they'll just fucking stun you out of it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, they'll put one in the corner out of fucking spite. Yeah, something like that. We playing Minecraft? Anybody wanna play Minecraft? Dom's ass, I don't want Ludwood's holy fucking blade, okay? I, I don't give a shit about the holy fucking blade. I don't want it. I, I, I don't want it, okay? I don't care. I don't care about a holy blade. Please stop repeating it, please. I don't care. I don't want it. I don't want the holy blade. Shut the blade of your mouth. No! Yeah, they don't need to be like timed out that long for it, but oh my god. I just don't want it. Did you hear about Lugwood's holy blade? No, I didn't. I didn't. I don't want it. I don't, I don't care. I don't care about a holy blade. I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care. I'd rather play Lollycraft. I literally have no idea what that is. What the fuck is Lollycraft? What is Lollycraft, chat? Yeah, I was scared, and yet Night Draco, thank you for doing stuff. Yeah, I was scared, and yet Dave Ronald, thank you for giving it to us with a pin peg. Davronald gifted a tier 1 sub to Pimpega. They have given 62 gift subs in the channel. Hello? You. You're not from around here, are you? No, I'm not. How'd you know, yeah? Oh. Okay. What, do you think I'm a beast? Well, maybe I'll think you're a beast. And step away from our castle. Alright, sir. One thing I do like a lot more about this game is that it feels a hell of a lot more alive. Oh my, what a cool sound. Oh. She knows I'm gay. I'm off during hunt, so if that's what you're here for, I'll leave you to your own devices. Okay, there's, I, I missed a lot of that dialogue because there was a huge delay at the end of each sentence, so I'd hit X and then it would skip the next fucking sentence. Might you know the set night is long? So much for so nice place. Oh! Oh, thank you, guys. There you go. I was scared and got him, chat. mysteriously attracted to him at the same time. Hell yeah. I, I do, the game does feel a lot more alive though, with like actual people talking to you instead of like a barren wasteland like most games feel. So there's like one, you know, one thumbs up. I think Elden Ring did a better job with this as well than like most of the Dark Souls games. Gay equals take my sub. Aw, oh, thank you, Dr. Reed. Thank you, Dr. Reed, for the dear one sub. Welcome to the Hunter Association. Anyway, chat, sorry for like yelling at you guys about fucking how dog shit your game series is. I know you guys like it, it's just that you like it so much it kind of pisses me off, so.
and also, you know, drives up interactions. So, you know, if anything, I'm just tricking you guys. I'm, I'm the one baiting you guys. Joke's on you, chat. I'm baiting you. I'm a master baiter. Uh, Smoke Drugs, thanks for the 200 biddies. I wonder how he's not bald IRL yet. What are you talking about? Chat, I'm not bald. What's that thwacking sound? What is that horrible licking emote? Oh my god. Why is there a large gap between TTS notification and TTS? Did you change something recently? No. Didn't change anything. Sometimes stream elements is just fucky. Well, there goes my fucking good mood. Oh my god. That's a little extreme, eh? Are you serious? Are you serious? Get away. Get away. Get away. Oh my god, can you- Are you fucking serious? Is this game- Like, fuck me. Bruh. Bruh. How am I able to hit a fucking, like, two-inch pipe? Please, stop murdering me. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Holy shit. We did it. Somehow, we did it. Oh my god. I'm like, I get PTSD, I hear, just hear noises of dogs attacking me and I just, my butthole seizes up like I'm about to get pounded again. Oh my god. Same cuck W. I love that, cuck W. Mango, since when did you stop having a personality and started using cuck W? What happened? What happened to you, Mango? London calling, do 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 I'm abandoned. I stole Mango's brain cell. Understandable. Understandable, have a nice day. Nah, this can't be Australia because there are no spiders yet. Ah, fuck me! I... Really? Really? You could just climb right up here, hey? Wow. Um. Wow. Okay. Uh. Wow. Oh. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. Is my only option just to... <laughs> Is my only option just to... Be here? Is that it? I really am sick of how many areas just loop right back around to where I was before. Okay. 
invite. Can I play? Can I play? Like, holy fucking shit. Like, actually let me play the game or I'm gonna kill myself. I'm gonna blow my brains out. Oh my god. Holy fuck! Ah! Okay. You are too greedy? No one asked. Oh. Is it too gre- am I too greedy? Or is it that the game attack cues and then I get locked into an action that I didn't want to do? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll die on this hill chat. I will still die on this hill. Attack queuing is the worst mechanic to ever be in the game and should be a toggleable thing. Let me toggle attack queuing. I'll die on that hill. I guarantee that'll be the next kit mechanic to get removed and then everyone's gonna cry, uh, cry about it. They're gonna make it a toggleable thing in the settings, and then everyone's gonna be like, I'm doing. And then there'll be a huge sect of people that say, You didn't really beat the game if you didn't play it with attack queuing on. Or something like that. Some kind of copium like that. Well, there are people that like attack queuing, and those people, and that's why it'll be toggleable. Those people get the option to like their attack queuing. If you like your attack queuing, you're welcome to it, chat. Okay. But my body, my choice, alright? And I choose to not have attack queuing. <laughs> Oh. Can I- can I- game? Thank you. I know it's annoying that I can't imagine a Soulsborne game without attack queuing. I can. It, it's really great. Look. I will never understand it, people being more angry about options. Yeah, I don't- I don't know. Uh, gamers are allergic to accessibility or something. I couldn't tell ya. If you don't like attack queuing, then don't play attack queuing game. Oh, here it is, chat. Here it is. Here's all the Soulsborne fans. They're gonna come out of nowhere, tell me I'm wrong, and then the next game that comes out... The next game that comes out, there's not gonna be any attack queuing. How much do you want to bet there'll be no attack queuing in the next Elder Scrolls game? Or Elder Scrolls, <laughs> Elder Scrolls, in the next Soulsborne game. How much do you want to bet? Chat, how much do you want to bet? I will literally bet money on it. I will literally bet money on it right now. It'll be a toggleable thing. I bet you. I literally bet you. Money. Money. Real money. If I'm wrong, I will piss myself on stream. Clip it. It was clip it. Clip it. Go on. I hope you're wrong then. <laughs> I hope I'm wrong too. Um, no, like straight up though, I, I bet. Like, it, it's totally reasonable that they would either make it toggleable or remove it in some fashion. So, I win the bet if they either remove it entirely or just make it toggleable. I win the bet. 15 V-Bucks. I bet you 15 V-Bucks, chat. Chat will remember this. We'll see. We'll see. We'll hear. We'll, we'll we'll find out when the next when the next game comes out. Also, an Elden Ring DLC does not count as another game.
Another dead end. Another dead end. Boy, do I love this game. When did DLC ever count as another game? I'm just clarifying in case anyone tries to be sneaky. Overwatch 2, Keck. <laughs> Overwatch 2. Got him. True. Hey um, Tiger, hey. what was that game that Peen played? I don't know. Have you played that on stream yet? What game? <laughs> You're gonna have to be a little more specific, I have no idea. Yeah, uh, Ducky Bart, thank you for the and sub. Welcome to the, the Hunter Association. <laughs> You're now a proud hunter, Ducky Plot. No longer are you a tiny little duck. You are now... Well, you're still a tiny little duck, but you're, you know, you're, you're scary. You can hunt people. It's spooky. The one where he pissed himself? Oh, I have no idea. I don't play games that cause me to piss myself. When is the pissing event? Uh, when the next game drops, I guess. I'm probably not wrong. Like, they're probably not gonna remove it, but I still think they should. And if they do, I will be so happy though. If if they do, chat, if they remove, if they fucking remove, oh my god, if they remove attack queuing, I'm gonna rub it in so hard, chat. I'm gonna rub it in so fucking hard if they remove attack queuing. Like I you have no idea. I am literally going to never stop talking about how right I am and how dumb and wrong everyone else is. Like, I cannot express to you how much I'm gonna fucking make fun of all of you if I'm right. Hey, can you- can, what? Fuck yourself. Oh my god. Oh my god, do you ever get stunned or do you just fucking make the game unfun? It definitely feels less intrusive in Elden Ring. It fucked me up a few times, but it's because it's less intrusive that they're probably not gonna need it, right? Like, if it's getting to the point where you don't even notice that attack queuing is there, they're gonna get rid of it. They don't need it anymore. I- what? 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 I dodged! <laughs> what? I literally dodged that, bro. Oh my god. Literally hit the dodge button. His attack bounced off the wall. Yeah, I noticed. It just fucking slid all the way to me. Ridiculous. I have to do that all over again. Fuck. Oh, oh my god. Can you, like, stop, dude? Oh, just let me. Give me a break. Just give me a break, dude. Just for a bit. Worked too goddamn hard for all of that. And it's gone. Wasted. That's just how the blood borns. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Holy fuck, just die. Please. Uh. Mango doesn't know the meme. Mango is no meme. Bully me. I'll come. Come to my senses. Are these my souls? Oh, it was a summon. Okay. I wish I knew that. You're not gonna kill me, are you? Oh, he looks cool though, chat. He's got a briefcase on his back. No, it's a hammer, not a briefcase. Oh, it's an AI summon? Narudo. Okay, well, you can help me get my souls back. You wanna do anything, bro? He's gonna sit there. 
No, feel free. Just fucking sit there, dude. It's fine. No fucking rush or anything, eh? Holy fuck. What a fucking shit show. Can... Uh... Uh... I'm literally hitting you, dude. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. This game's some fucking bullshit. I swear to god, this game's the worst. What is this AI? Hello? Bro? Do something? Like, what the fuck? Literally do anything. Challenge impossible. What the fuck? Oh my god, I'm just trying to kill this fucking dog. All oh, the camera angles, dude. Track on the fucking dog. Where's the goddamn dog? Track on the fucking dog. How did you get over here? You little pupper. You stinky little pupper. Where did the dog go? Where did the dog go? Like, how- the dog was next to me, right? And then it teleported down the stairs. What the fuck happened to the dog? Over the ledge, I think. How did it go over the ledge? It's impossible. Oh my god. Can you both eat the biggest fucking bag of dicks? Oh my god, fucking die! Like, get the fuck away from me, you absolute scumbag cunts. Oh my god, it's so fucking infuriating. Get the fuck away! Oh my god, get stunned! Why don't you get stunned? Holy fuck! They never get stunned! Except when they do! Ah! I think the enemy died and fell through the world. That happens a lot. No, the enemy didn't die because it was only one dog and then the dog was right next to me and then the dog was not right next to me the next moment and then the dog was around the stairs across the fucking map. So I don't know what the fuck happened unless it fell up through the stairs. I literally don't know what, like, what could have fucked. Oh my god, that one doesn't make any sense. Fucking bad game design. This game is dog shit. Poorly optimized. What the fuck are you following me for, dude? How is the AI in Bloodborne worse than any other game before it? How is this literally, like, worse than Dark Souls 1 AI? Also, does anybody know who the fuck has my souls this time? Oh, it was you. You have my souls. Why do you have my soul? Whatever. Come here. Holy fuck. Get the fuck out of my way, AI. Dumb bastard AI. It really undermines the whole fucking mechanic of like, oh yeah, you know, the enemy that kills you gets your soul. It is really immediately undermined when like, you know, a different enemy gets your souls every fucking time. It would be really nice if it was like even remotely consistent. Um, sweet kid, thank you for the deal on seven. Like, it, it, it becomes a pretty, like, redundant and immediately, like, useless mechanic the second, like, literally anyone can get your fucking souls and the camera angles kill you anyway. Am I getting, like, I'm... Mm, get out of the way. Blech. Dude, come on. This AI is so fucking useless. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. 
This game is dog shit. This, this game is so fucking poorly optimized. And I, and I hate to say it. Because I really want to like it. I want to like this game more than goddamn anything in the world. But holy fuck. It is the most unoptimized piece of trash I've ever fucking played. But I love it. It's still my favorite game in the series so far. But holy fuck. Like, it, it's genuinely, like, so poorly optimized. Consistently. And some of the design decisions have just been fucking baffling. Like, like going through a goddamn, like, elevator to progress. That was fucking weird. Okay, now I just got enemies. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of the way. Get out of here. Get the fuck. Get me the fuck out of here, dude. Holy shit. I'm gonna kill myself. This is infuriating. It's so fucking annoying, dude. Shit, man. I don't know, dude. I wish this game wasn't so consistently, like, terrible. <laughs> ah. I need a distraction, Pimpega. I need a distraction. I need something to distract the enemies long enough for me to get, a get my souls back and not, like, instantly die. I keep coming so close and then I just keep getting hit by, like, fucking cheap attacks. Those scythe attacks have such long range and it catches me off guard every time. Ah. Who's got my souls this time? Hey, Henriette, you think you could make yourself fucking useful? No? Didn't think so. Dude, these dogs. These dogs are the most bullshit fucking enemies. I'm literally hitting them first. I'm literally fucking hitting them first every single goddamn fucking time. And then this enemy spawns. Where did you come from? Well, there goes uh, 12,000 souls, chat. Nothing to worry about, though, I'm sure. Oh, hello, hello, cunt. You won't lie. This is a safe it's really not. There's enemies right outside. Thank you. Okay, thanks. I'd like to tender my thanks, but I haven't much to offer. Uh. All I can give, but would you even take A whore's blood? Wait, she called herself a whore? Yeah, I'll take your blood. Oh. She's a literal prostitute? Oh. Wow. That'll explain a lot. That explains a lot, doesn't it? Oh. I'm so fucking, like... Oh. Thank you for the 500 bid solders and losing souls currency. Yeah. I, I don't know. Solidarity on losing souls currency. I keep going the fuck over there to look for the enemy who has my souls. And then every single fucking time, it's just some fucking random pleb that spawns behind me who gets them. So I, I, I grow a bunch of enemies for no fucking reason, lose all my goddamn fucking health, waste my goddamn fucking potions just for the only enemy that I actually need to kill to show up behind me every fucking time. I, 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 it's baffling, dude. It's fucking baffling. It's like, what are you doing? Like, why, why don't, where are you? Where have you been and why do you have my souls? And if you had my souls this entire fucking time, then how come I didn't see you when I walked by in the fucking first place? Like, where are they? Like, what the fuck is going on with this stupid fucking game? Maybe increase your endurance. You know, maybe if I, you know, maybe if I had some, some, some motherfucking Souls. I would love to do that. I would love to increase yeah, my fucking. I was scared and yet mysteriously attracted to him at the same time. <sighs> oh my god. You realize it like what the fuck? 
I'm bitching about losing my fucking souls and your solution is Tiger. Maybe you should upgrade your endurance with the souls you don't fucking have. Oh my god. Ah! Uh, no. <laughs> mold. Thank you, Nalo, for the 100k bits. Thank you. Thank you, Nalo. Thank you for the 100 bitties, Nalo. Thank you for the 100 bitties. <sighs> now calm down, Tiny. No. See, I can't. I still can't. Sorry for the 10k bits, not 100k. What? What? Chat, what happened to the other enemy that spawns with this one? Dude, this might be the most inconsistent fucking Souls game I've ever fucking played. I'm like not even kidding. I'm so fucking confused. There's- okay, there's the enemy who has my souls this time. But there's also an enemy that comes out from behind, isn't there? I'm so confused, dude. What the fuck is wrong with this game? This is like actually, actually the most inconsistent fucking garbage I've ever played. Like, it's not garbage, it's fun. Like when, when it's fun, it's fun, but holy fuck, like... Like why is it so fucking like brutally inconsistent? I actually don't understand. Okay, I genuinely don't get it. And now there's an enemy up there. In the sight. And there's the dog here still. Let me... Kill the fucking dog, I guess. He's actually fucking teleporting. The motherfucker. He's cheating, chat. I I don't know. I've lost all my souls at this point, like a million. Are you done? Are you fucking done, dude? Come on, like. Come on. I think maybe a break would help. I wanted to be the boss of this fucking stream, but now I'm just out of potions and fucking patience as well. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna run to the fucking boss room and then try it out with the, the other weapon and no healing and see how well I do. I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked, but I need a bit more damage. Oh, and the crow got the, got my souls this time. Dude, why is the crow getting my souls when this guy killed me? Chat, what is the fucking mechanic of this entire game even supposed to be? Why is it completely broken and, and like, why it literally doesn't work? Like, it actually doesn't work. The mechanic is, this game's literally broken. The mechanic is literally fucking broken. Don't make me explain to you what I fucking mean, I swear to God, Noah. It's fucky on purpose. The fuck do you mean it's fucky on purpose? I was told, and I quote, sometimes the enemy that kills you gets their souls, but if it's a boss, it'll drop on the ground. And so far, not a single enemy who's killed me has gotten the souls once. It's just been someone else every fucking time. Every fucking time. It's literally just been some fucking dumb enemy who didn't kill me getting my souls. 
Like, can the game literally not remember? Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna see how much damage this does and see if I can kill this bitch. If I can attempt it with this weapon, I'll do it. this game anymore. Tiger girl, weren't you a boy the other day? Yeah, I cut my dick off. No, I'm just kidding. I still have a cock. I'm a girl though. Oh my god, you're not fun. Just kidding. Or am I? I don't know. Just have sex with me. I don't really care anymore. I'm fucking... I'm mind broken. This game has broke me. I can't do anything right, chat. Just fucking have sex with me and let's get it done with. Gender? I don't even know her. I'm like, actually, uh, I don't know, man. I think, again, if I didn't literally have to farm like a bunch of flasks every single time. Uh-huh. If it wasn't so, like, fucking miserable in the flask economy, like, or the, the blood vial economy, I, I, I wouldn't be so incredibly frustrated. But it, it really is just dog shit. Like, wait, like, like, truly, like, truly, it, it is just fucking terrible. Is the game broken or has it broken you? Both. The game is broken and it's also broken me. I tell you to bend over, but I think this game has done that plenty to you. Oh, it certainly has. This game has fucked me so hard, didn't even use a condom first. I'm pregnant now with bloodborne babies. I, my babies are gonna be bloodborne. Literally, how did that hit me? I'm sorry, literally, what the fuck? You were not even facing me when I dodged. game is so inconsistent, dude. The huge arc swing is BS. It's bullshit, especially when, like, my character's dodge fucking swings around it. Like, I literally can't. I, I can't. I can't. I fucking can't. I fucking can't do it. I, I, the camera angles are so dog shit. Holy fucking shit. How am I even meant to spite him when I can't see him? I can't even see him! Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, 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 I don't even care anymore. Just fucking die. Ugh. Just fucking die, dude. Oh my god. It's so frustrating when I'm tracking onto an enemy six feet tall in a tiny fucking area and the camera's like, yeah, we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna fucking. We're just gonna fucking put you right next to him and you're not gonna be able to see a goddamn thing. Have you tried, like, touching grass between each death? No, it'd take too much time. Take too much time. I'm just gonna blame everything in the book on why I'm dying, except for, like, myself. What in the fuck? What? I am a 
Okay, so I'm like... Can, dude, can you just like actually fuck off for a bit, dude? Oh, come on, man. Like, it's not fun. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure this... I'm like actually 100% positive now. The spawning locations for the enemy unironically change depending on which area I enter first. If I go up the stairs before I go down... Like, if I come down th from, like, around this way, two enemies will spawn up here and then walk up the stairs and then around. Whereas if I walk up the stairs to begin with, there'll be one enemy waiting on the stairs right from the get-go. I'm not even fucking kidding. Am I crazy? Because, like, this has never been the fucking... D are you serious? How? How? Oh my god, man. No, I'm gonna fucking prove this right now. When we just came up there, when we just went up there, when we just fucking went up there, two enemies spawned at the bottom of the stairs and walked up. Let's go. But then we turned around, and then we walked up the stairs from, like, around, and there was no enemy waiting at the stairs. So I'm gonna fucking prove this once and for all. Or I'm gonna embarrass myself in front of everyone. Depending. I'm either gonna embarrass myself, or I'm not. I love attack queuing, otherwise I definitely wouldn't have done that last hit. Oh my god. Okay, you guys ready? Check this out. Oh my god! Chat. The spawn locations were different. The spawn locations were fucking different. The spawn locations were unironically different. Maybe it's all in your head. Fuck you, chat. Fuck you. Fuck you. They were literally different. Are you sure? I'm positive. I've never been so sure of anything in my life. I'm not schizophrenic, chat. I'm not fucking schizophrenic. From soft gaslighting you in real time. Oh my god, I'm not schizophrenic, chat. I swear to god. No, yeah, when we went down the stairs first, and then up, when we went like down and around from the bottom, and then came up, um, there was no one waiting here. The guy with the scythe had already moved up here. And then, but when we went straight up this way, the guy with the scythe was waiting on the stairs right here. I'm not crazy. Hi, you're so right, Tega. You should probably take your medicine. Fuck you, chat. Fuck you, chat. <laughs> and look, where did the two guys downstairs go? Where did the two guys from downstairs go? And where did the guy with the gun standing right here go? Didn't you kill them? No, I didn't kill them, chat. You're crazy. You're crazy, chat. Quit gaslighting me. The game's doing it enough. There was literally their blood and you know, chat. No, they, they were never there. They never existed, chat. They never existed. They're not real. Stop gaslighting me. Okay. Okay, that's a very, okay, I can't parry that. Yeah, yeah, there's really not much I can do about that. Okay.
I'm gonna prove it, chat. I'm gonna fucking prove it to you. I'm gonna fucking prove it to you, chat. Prove it right now. We'll do it. We'll do it right now. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Watch. Look. He's not there. What the fuck is going on? And now he's there! He's there! Motherfucker. It's not so much the spawn locations changing, just that this guy walks up to that point if I go this way. This is definitely the wrong- And I'm a dog for fucking some reason aggro's on to me. Cunt. Cunt fucking bitch. Oh my god. Unrelated question. Bro, Do you honestly, prefer milk or on? dark chocolate? Oh my god. The dog's so shit. Oh my god. I'm, I'm losing my mind. What are we doing? What are we doing? Ah! I can't do this anymore. I can't do this for much longer, chat. I, I just lost all my souls again. <laughs> okay, we're, we're giving this a break. I need to give this a break. I need, to, I need to take a break. I need to stop with this game. I can't do this anymore. I can't do it anymore, guys. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it. I'm, I'm mind broken. I'm losing my mind. I've got, <laughs> I hate this game. I, oh God. I think I just have ADHD and I just can't stand doing not. the same shit over and over again. No, I'm okay. We don't need to play ready or not. <laughs> oh, I just feel like I'm losing my mind. Like, I, I don't know. I think it's just my ADHD just sitting around in the same fucking spot over and over again trying to farm fucking files so I can attempt a boss. Is really annoying, but then I also need more souls because I don't have enough damage, so I need to level up. Oh my god! Oh my god! It, it, it's so. Ooh, I need to take a break. I think I need to take a break. I need to do a shit ton of farming like off screen, where I don't feel like I'm under pressure to like under time constraints, and then I, I and then I'll, I'll we'll, we'll do it again later. We'll, we'll try it again like next time. Next time we play Bloodborne. Oh my god. We won't think any less of you if you quit this game. I don't want to quit the game because I'm enjoying it the most so far. I just fucking hate, fucking despise the gameplay loops. I, I hate it. I hate it. I don't know who decided that, hey, we should, uh, what if we just made you grind for all of your health vials again, 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 and 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 again, every time you wanted to attempt a boss. Oh, you did one boss attempt, used all of your vials, uh, but then didn't have enough to attempt it again? Go get more. Go grind for more. Ugh. Like, that's just miserable. That's genuinely miserable. And then just, like, everything leading to a dead end is pretty miserable as well. Ugh. Yeah, it was my main problem with the game too, but then uh, the cum dungeon solves the problem of low vials and bullets. Well, I'm not at a cum dungeon, okay? I'm just suffering through the early game as of right now. There's no shame in taking a break. I think I'll take a break, chat. I think we'll call it for today. We had a plenty fun stream, I think. Um, maybe, did we not? Did we not, did we? We might not have. Maybe it was a miserable stream chat. I don't remember. I've, I've, I've been gaslit so much, I don't know what reality is. Um, <laughs> I'll call it here, okay? I'll call it right here for now. Um, thank you guys so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for all the subs and stuff. We are, like, so close to our sub goal for the Dojin chat. We're, like, less than 300 away. Um, I think we're, like, two, 270... 277. We're 277... Sub subby wubber is away from our dojin. So, um, hopefully we'll hit that goal next time. Uh, I stream again tomorrow night 
at 8 p.m. Eastern, we're playing some hardcore Minecraft. We're just gonna play some hardcore Minecraft. That's it. That's all we're doing. Um, so hopefully that'll be nice and simple and a lot more like digestible and fun for everyone. And we can have a good time in that. Thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate it. Have an amazing night. Take it easy. Um, Taiga, please refill the copium. I will. I'll refill my copium for next night. For tomorrow night. Um, I'm sorry, chat. I just like, oh god. I, I, I think I, I'm at my wit's end today. Just with like ramming my head into a fucking brick wall. Um, no Bridget talk tomorrow, please. I'll talk about what I want. But um, noted. Duly noted. Um, have a good night, everyone. Take it easy. I love you guys so much. And um, I'll see you in the next stream. See you tomorrow for 8 p.m. Eastern, okay? <laughs> Goodbye, chat. Mm -hmm.